Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can recover permanently deleted photos on your iOS device. So if you thought that you couldn't do that, you totally can with this cool app. So I'm going to be showing you guys by flipping my camera over and showing you my own phone, my iPhone, show you the app, how it works, and how you can download and install it for yourself in your own device. So if you want to go ahead and have this for yourself, let's go ahead and get started. Okay everyone, so I'm on my phone here now as you can see, so I want to first show you the app which is this one right here, it's the Photos Recovery app, so here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and this is what it looks like basically, so I have all my pictures deleted, and once uh, that happens, basically you have this button here that says Recover Plus Plus, as you can see, all that you've got to do is just go ahead and click there and immediately all your pictures are now restored so yeah how cool is that if you want to be able to do that and restore some of the pictures that you might have accidentally deleted or you know you ran out of space so you had to delete them but you really want them back you can go ahead and continue here so we're gonna go ahead and first head to settings if we are using an ios device like myself however if you are using uh, anything else um, basically you don't need that but since this is for an iOS device we are going to head to our settings first so we're gonna go ahead and head to settings and we are going to head down to battery click there and just make sure that you have low power mode turned off just like so and that you have at least 10% battery in your device just to make sure that you don't run out of power once you are downloading and installing the app all right so now we're gonna head back to our settings and we are going to head up to general and then we're going to head to background app refresh down here and then we're going to click up here again and then here we just want to make sure that we have either wi-fi or wi-fi and cellular data selected so whichever works best for you either or is fine so we're going to head back now and we're going to head back to general and we're going to go ahead and click about and here we just want to verify that our iOS version is at least iOS 11 or anything above that. If you don't have at least iOS 11, I do recommend that you upgrade your iOS version before you try to download and install the app, just to make sure that it is compatible with your device. All right, so now we're going to head back to our settings and we're going to head down to Safari. Once you find Safari, go ahead and click there. And then in Safari, we're going to go all the way down, all the way down and we're going to click advanced down here and then last but not least we want to make sure that we have javascript enabled just like that and that will be our final step to our settings adjustments and making sure that our iphone or ios device is all set in order to be able to download our app so once we have done that we're going to exit out of there and now we're going to go ahead and open up our 